Hello curl friends and guys, welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you will hit that subscribe button and that bell next to the button so that you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. So uh, I wanted to ask you a question. We just completed a three-part series on uh, menopausal women and natural hair. So uh, we didn't just talk about hair, we talked about how else it affects us as well. There's a lot more that can be said about this topic and uh, let me start out by saying I am not a health professional. I'm just talking to you about the things that I have researched and the things that I have done to help me in this particular cycle of life uh, that we're all going to go through, whether it's natural or unnatural <laughs> for us to go through it. And I wanted to know if you wanted to continue in this series. Now, uh, there, like I said, there are other things that we could talk about in regard to menopause of women, and we can get a little bit more in depth about it if you like. And uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me yes or tell me no or move on or whatever so that I'll know what content you guys want. On another note, I wanted to answer someone's question who asked me uh, concerning skin care and what do I do uh, in regard to my skin. Well, for one thing, I don't wear makeup that often. Um, very rarely do I wear makeup, so uh, <clears throat> I don't have to go through a whole lot of rigmarole as far as skin care. And uh, because I have naturally dry skin, I don't put a lot of soap on my face. Uh, and because I don't have makeup on, I don't have to use a lot of cleansers and things like that. So generally, what I do is uh, when I feel like my face needs a wash, then I will just warm up a, a cloth with some warm water. If I use soap, it'll be a very mild soap. Uh, and if I don't, I just give my face a wipe. That's all I do because uh, the little bit of oil I have in my skin, I don't want to wash it away. Um, if I do put oil on my face, I have a butter mixture that I use in my hair, but I also use it on my skin. And it's just a combination of different oil, avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, things like that. You can use any of those if you have dry skin. You want to use penetrating oil. You don't want to use something that's just going to sit on the surface. And so um, um, coconut oil will penetrate the skin, jojoba oil will penetrate, and things like that. Argan oil, I believe, penetrates as well. So try using those if you have dry skin. If you have oily skin, don't put any oil on your skin, obviously. And you will probably need uh, to do more than just use water on your face if you have oily skin because You'll be, you're like a dust magnet. You'll be collecting dust when you go throughout the day. So anyway, I wanted to come on and find out if you guys had enjoyed the series that we did on menopause and women. And if you wanted to continue, if you do, let me know in the comment section below uh, what you want to talk about in regard to that subject. If I can do something with that, I will. If I can't, I won't, and I'll let you know. All right? So thanks for stopping by, and thank you for subscribing to the channel. Please recommend the channel to your friends and your co-workers, your brothers, your sisters, whatever. Hello to the gentlemen that are on the channel. I appreciate you being here as well. And I'll see you guys the next time I come on. Keep it natural.